Good morning, guys. All right, so today I have actually chosen some scripture out of Titus in the New Testament. I'm going with uh, Titus chapter 2, and it's going to be verses 11 through 14. Here we go. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to deny ungodliness and worldly desires and to live sensibly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good deeds. So, um, yeah, to me, this kind of a beautiful way of describing who Jesus is, and you know, and I, and I say who he is. There is no was with Christ. He is present. He is always present. You know, God's gate, grace. allowed Christ to come to earth for us to teach us how to live how to be godly and how to have that passion and desire to help our fellow men and women children widows orphans you name it even our enemies I mean and he came on this earth so we can see firsthand how we need to how we need to live and and um, and to teach us how to live and so doing if we follow his instructions then we'll be redeemed with him and uh, we'll be his people we are his people so <clears throat> I just really like that bit of scripture because it to me it is it is a very beautiful way of describing who Christ was and why he came on this earth and what it was what what he was about while he was on this earth and and the simple fact that Jesus is still our hope, our glory, our salvation, you know, and our and our Father. Pretty short and sweet this morning, I guess. So, I hope this uh, reaches somebody. I hope this talks to somebody. Uh, you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.